Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to fill out a table for the longest common subsequence algorithm. So the challenge is that we have two sequences and we would like to find out what's the longest common subsequence. So what we're gonna do is we have a table and we take those sequences and inserting them on the axis. Uh, it doesn't really matter which uh, sequence goes to which axis so let me take this first sequence to the x-axis I'm filling out this that way B D C A B A another sequence goes on the left it's A B C B D A and B as you can see there is uh, one extra uh, column and row. It is just because we want to uh, we want to have a we have to make a note that what happens when there is like B and nothing, and then obviously there's a no no match. So we are putting here zeros because all of this algorithm is all about if there's a match or not. Um, and here are two cases. So what we do is we take x and y value for each cell and we are comparing if there is a match or not. If the values are the same, there is a match. If values are different, there is no match. If there is a match, if there are two values the same, so let's look at here. If this value and this value is the same, there is a match, then we are taking a number from this cell, adding one, and we are inserting the answer here. If there is no match, meaning when this value and that value are different, then we are considering those two values and inserting here the biggest one out of those two. So let's see how it works. Uh, we are here, we are comparing B and A. They are different, so there's no match. There's no match, we consider those two numbers, which one is bigger, both are zero, so we are putting zero. B and A. Again, the same situation, we compare those two zeros, so we put zero. CNA, again, now we, something interesting happens. So we have A and A, there's a match. What we do is we look at this value and we are adding one and inserting a number over here. On top of this, we are creating here a bridge. So we just create a connection between those two values, which are indicating that there was a match. Uh, later on I will tell you how we are going to use this bridge later. Uh, okay, let's keep going. So we have B and A, there's no match. And so we compare those two values. This one is bigger, so we're putting one. A and A, again match. We are creating a bridge, we're taking this value, adding one, putting one. B and B, match. Bridge, zero, zero plus, plus one is one. DB, no match, bigger is one. CB, no match, bigger value is 1, NA, NAB, no match, bigger value 1, BB, match, bridge, 1 plus 1, 2, NAB, no match, biggest value here is 2, B and C, no match, biggest value 1, D and C, no match, biggest value is 1, C and C, we have a match, we create a bridge, 1 plus 1 is 2, NAC, no match, biggest value 2, BC no match, biggest value 2, NAC no match, biggest value 2, BB match, put bridge, 0 plus 1, 1, BD no match, 1, CB no match, 2, AB no match, 2, BB we have a match, bridge, 2 plus 1 is 3, NAB no match, biggest value 3, BD no match, biggest value 1, DD match, Bridge, 1 plus 1, plus 1 is 2, CD, no match, AD, no match, biggest value, 2, BD, no match, biggest value, 3, AD, no match, biggest value, 3, BA, no match, DA, no match, biggest value, 2, CA, no match, biggest value, AA, we have a match, bridge, 2 plus 1, 3, uh, BA, no match, 3, and a match bridge three plus one four the last row bb match we have a bridge zero plus one one bd no match two cb no match two ab no match 
3, BB, we have a match. We create a bridge, 3 plus 1, 4, AB, no match, but the biggest value is 4. Okay, so what this tells us is for sure there are 4 uh, letters in the longest common subsequence. But what are those letters? So now we have to backtrack. And so there are two things that we have to see. So first one is that actually by filling out this uh, table, we created those kind of islands or, or of letters, I mean, of numbers. So here are fours, here are threes. Here we created island of twos. And here is area of ones. And on the end is a kingdom of zeros. Um, so we are starting over here. What we're gonna do is we have to travel to zero till we are reaching the zero. And we, we can go to left and top or to the top and left. And we have to be consistent through our journey. So we have to select on the very beginning how we want to go. Um, so let me select this one, left and top. So the first thing we do, we just go left from here to here. Now we want to go to the left or to the top, but there's a different area. And actually to go to the different area, we have to use a bridge. And fortunately, it is a bridge, bridge here. So we are going from here to here. Now, when we are passing the bridge, we have to see who created this bridge. And actually we see that this bridge was sponsored by the letter B. So we are putting B. We are here. We want to go to left or to the top. We cannot because this is different area already. But we have a bridge. So we can go to a different area through the bridge. We go here. And who created this bridge? The letter A created the bridge. Okay, we are here. We can go to the top or to the left. Perfect. Let's go to the left. We go to the left. We are still in the area too. Nothing happens. We go to the left. Again, the end of the area. We cannot go left, we cannot go to the top, so we have to use a bridge. We're going to the bridge, to area 1, and who created this bridge? Letter D. Now, to the left, to the top, we can go to the top, so let's go. We can go to the top again. Again, we are hitting the wall, and on the other side there's a zero. So to go to the zero, we are using a bridge. And who created the bridge? Letter B. Okay, we finished. We reached the zeros area. And here we have the longest common subsequence, which is B, D, A, and B.